Hello again. <laughs> um, happy to be here again. Um, happy Easter to everyone. Uh, it took me a little bit to continue with the biography because we moved to another city. So, but now we are in our new home. Therefore, I'm back to my regular activities. <laughs> And uh, well, in regards to this interesting biography, uh, last video um, ended in um, Grabo Boy visiting um, Baba Nagpal, uh, which is considered um, as never wrong in his country. Um, so, I'm going to start today with um, some facts that are important to mention. Um, on December 10th, 1994, the delegation headed by Grigory Petrovich Gravoboy visited the Philippines. The famous healer, um, the clairvoyant, Yuko and Labo immediately wished to meet with Bravo Boy after hearing about his visit to the Philippines. Now, during their conversation that took place in her clinical center, Yuko and Labo brought her palms 10 centimeters close to Bravo Boy, uh, Boy's palms. And immediately at the top of her voice, she admired the most powerful energy of his hands and the power of his psychic abilities. Toward the end of her talk, she expressed the conviction that with such abilities, Gravovi should give help not only to his country, but also to the whole planet. And those present, <clears throat> sorry, were very surprised when this well-known woman asked to diagnose her organism and to carry out a course of general recovery by correspondence. Yuko and Labo, a clairvoyant who is a well-known Philippine healer, having a gift of prophecy and also respected in Philippines as an assistant and wife of Vice Mayor of Baguio City, told that the main task of Gregory Petrovich Gravoboy in modern conditions is to protect the entire world and not um, a single country. This is um, found in the practice of control, the way of salvation, volume two, page 260. 10 minutes of these meetings are available at the website meetinggravoboycordpress.com, which um, I'm gonna give you the link for that on the, on the description box of this video so that you can check it out. In India, Grigori Petrovich Gravoboy met an important religious figure of the Hindu religion who had extrasensory abilities established by the organization Corporation Om Prakash. And I quote, I wish him every success in life because the powers that have been given to him are such that they cannot be used for evil. The link to the sheet in the three volume book can be found. The minutes of these meetings are on the website, meeting wordpress.com, which I'm gonna give you the link for, for it too. And this um, talks about these uh, encounters. Um, Having heard about the miracles of the Russian healer in 1995, Bulgarian TV invited Grigory Gavovoy to Bulgaria and organized a meeting with the great Bulgarian uh, seer, Vanga. Vanga, who practically refused to make audio and video recordings of the meetings with her, allowed her to make audio and video recordings. This Vanga allowed only when meeting with an interlocutor to whom she had a good attitude, trusted him, and was confident in his decency. The only witness who was present all the time at the meeting, the journalist Valentina Genkova wrote in the official statement of the meeting, 
And I quote, I declare that Grigory Petrovich Gravovoy really had a conversation with Vanga, the prophet of, of Bulgaria, on the 27th of October, 1995, from 11.30 to 12.20 o'clock. The issue discussed included nuclear ecological danger on the planet, human life extension, the possibility of non-dying, and the unification of religions. Gabovoy asked questions on which Vanga stated her opinion, in particular that Grigory Petrovich, having phenomenal qualities, should go on treating people and expand the fields of application of his abilities. He must work in Russia from where the results will spread to allow countries of the world. In 20 years, he will have achieved what he dreams of. End of quote. This is also included in the books, The Practice of Control, The Way of Salvation, Volume 2, page 275. Grigory Petrovich Gravoboy left good opinion of Vanga about himself already during his first meeting with Vanga in 1994. When he asked Vanga only one question, do you need help? And then they sat together for half an hour. In 1995, Grigory Petrovich Gravoboy moved to Moscow, where he actively continued his scientific and educational activity. In the Council of Security of Russia, Grigory Petrovich Gravoboy was proposed to make the preventive forecast of the nuclear energy generating plants, and he agreed to do it. In 1996, Grigory Petrovich Gravoboy graduated from the medical school of Ramenskoye <laughs> under the Moscow Regional College of Advanced Training, Diploma UT number 729642, majoring in general medicine with the medical qualification of paramedic. And there's a link for that too. In September 1997, Representatives of the Center of Control of Space Flights of the Russian Federation, TSUP, asked Gravoboy for help in diagnosing the International Orbital Complex, MIR. In the presence of Deputy Chief of Missions of this respectable and well-known organization, Grigory Petrovich Gravoboy indicated the places of thermal insulation disturbances in the outer surface of the space station, pointed out the presence of scratches and cracks in the whole of the complex. This prevented possible emergency situation because after burner loads on onboard engines were to be expected. Gabobo insisted on inadmissibility of such actions before these effects were eliminated. Advising the, say, the Space Flight Control Center, Grigory Petrovich Gravoboy foresaw more than one situation on space stations, which were soon fully confirmed. For example, he predicted deterioration of well being of the Russian American crew during a flight over the geopathogenic zone of Brazil, warned of adverse changes in the atmosphere of the station where new strains of bacteria were formed under the influence of heat and moisture. Timely interve intervention and assistance rendered by Grigory Petrovich Gravoboy helped to cope with the difficulties and eliminate the health hazard to the crew of the spacecraft. In September 1997, on the mirror orbital complex, the onboard computer malfunctioned constantly, almost on a daily basis. It took five days to replace it. To replace it, I'm sorry. Grigory Petrovich Gravoboy was approached with a request to diagnose the computer, of course, from Earth, and determine whether it would last the required five days. He replied, "Yes." And to everyone's surprise, such previously capricious equipment lasted until it was replaced. 
<clears throat> Around the same time, the docking of the Mir orbital station at the Atlantis spa spacecraft was planned. However, due to many technical malfunctions, the docking was under a big question. Double Boy was instructed to forecast the possible docking and all the uh, contingencies connected with it. The predictions, down to the smallest details, were fully confirmed. The docking was successfully accomplished, and before, before it, there was a de deviation from the axis by the exact parameters specified by Gravel Boy. This is in the Practice of Control, The Way of Salvation, Volume 1, page 238. One more example of Gravel Boy's work on the diagnostics of space equipment. Um, it was necessary to fulfill diagnostics of all the engines of the American spaceship Atlantis. There was a real technical picture which was confirmed in practice. The change of parameters of the lower engine. It should be noted that Grigory Petrovich Gravelboy conducted these diagnoses literally in a matter of seconds while being on the street and communicating with the control center on his cell phone. According to the conclusions of the experts of the uh, competent commission, and I quote, it follows from the comparison of the prognosis of Grigory Petrovich Gravelboy with the practice that all prognoses of Grigory Petrovich Gravelboy were 100% confirmed, 100% confirmation of each forecast, as well as the entire volume of the task, allows to conclude that Grigory Petrovich Gravelboy diagnosing the space technique only through his clairvoyance, instantly gives 100% confirmed forecast for the entire volume of the task. It follows from the described facts that it is necessary to use clairvoyance in prevention of malfunctions and accidents in space machinery, end of quote. And it is in the practice of control, the way of salvation, volume one, page 239. Publishing House, Soprishasnost, 1998, which I'm going to provide a link for. Now, the young scientist Grigory Petrovich Gravovoy created a new science. The science of Grigory Petrovich Gravovoy is principally a new direction of cognition, approving the way of development in the direction of constant conformity with the laws of creative development of the world. For this first time, the fundamental laws of creative control over any objects of information in the direction of salvation from destruction were discovered and confirmed in practice. For the first time, mathematically defined dependencies proved in practice that by changing perception, it is possible to transform information in all systems of reality. On the 19th of December, 1997, the International Registration Chamber of Information Intellectual Novelty gave Grigory Petrovich Gravovoy certificates licenses for the method computer technology of remote control to the model archiving at any point in space-time, on the discovery of reproducing self-developing systems reflecting the external and internal domains of the diversity of creating spheres, on the principle of time, a form of space, on the principle of diagnosis of the object by methods of orthodox mathematics, I'm going to give you links to all of this. And um, well, on December 26, 1997, certificate license, reproducing self 
evolving systems reflecting external and internal areas of a variety of creating spheres was issued. So link for that too. On January 24, 1998, 1998, Grigory Petrovich Grabovoy was awarded the title of the best healer in the field of bioenergy, informatics, and forecasting. There's a link for that too. On March 9, 1998, the Russian Academy of Natural Sciences, based on the charter, elected Grigory Petrovich Grabovoy as the full member of, of RANS on the section Nosphere Knowledge and Technology. The Russian Academy of Natural Sciences, RANS, in all, all, um, is an all-Russian public creative scientific organization, which unites scientists of all directions, naturalists, uh, creators of science, intensive technologies, and humanitarian workers who are moved by the common desire to promote self-expression of a creative personality, development of education, expansion of fundamental and applied scientific research, formation of the civil society in Russia. Russian Academy of Natural Sciences operates on the basis of its charter and within the framework of the Russian Federation legislation. The Academy is a legal entity, and in accordance with the established order, it carries out scientific, economic, and foreign economy activities. The Academy consists of sections, regional and thematic departments, scientific centers, associations, and small institutes. The Academy was accredited to the United Nations on January 17, 1995, and in July 2002, RANS was granted the status of a non-governmental organization at the UN slash NGO, non-governmental organization in a special consultative status with the Economical and Social Council of the United Nations. And there's a link for that too. On the 10th of June, 1998, Grigory Petrovich Grabovoy was elected an acting member, acting member of the International Academy of Informati Informatization. International Academy of Informatization is a public organization which, according to its statute, um, statute includes scientists, specialists, state and public figures promoting the development of information, um, technologies and processes in all sectors of economy information and production activities in all fields of science, informatization of society, providing information intensive resources, creating a single global information space. Since 1994, the Academy has a status of associate member of the UN Department of Public Information. And since 1995, general consultative status of the UN Economic and Social Council, ECOSOC, with the support of heads of state and government, governors and mayors of cities, <clears throat> national and regional academies of information, science, and functional branch departments in the subjects of the Russian Federation have been established. The purpose of the Academy is to promote the development, formation, and coordination of a single world information space open to all countries and peoples based on the latest achievements of scientific and technological progress forecasting trends in information policy. I will provide a link too. 
On July 10, 1998, Grigory Petrovich Grabovoy was elected an Academician of International Informatization Academy as a sign of recognition and certification. The International Academy of Informatization is a non-governmental organization, an associate member of the United Nations in general consultative status with the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations. I will provide the link for that too. On August 10, 1998, the Italian Academy of Economic and Social Development, having acquainted with the grades, having listened to the positive responses of the members of the examination committee, taking into consideration the unanimous vote of the members of the honorary committee, awarded Grigory Petrovich Grabovoy the title of academician as the highest expression of official recognition of his outstanding virtues, high moral qualities, continuous performance of his civil duty, following the most noble ideals, which give him a full right to occupy the worthy place in the world community. The International Academy of Economic and Social Development is a nonprofit and independent association based in Rome and Brussels. The mission of the International Academy is to contribute to the creation of a global ethic, which must become a common matrix for a new economic order and a paradigm for long-term development based on an intercultural and interdisciplinary dialogue and on the interaction between state, market, and society. There's a link for that too. In August 1998, Grigory Petrovich Grabovoy was registered with the New York Academy of Sciences. And there's a link for that too. The New York Academy of Sciences has been in the service of science, technology, and society around the world since 1817. For nearly 200 years since 1817, the Academy has brought together people working on the front lines fostering discovery and vital links between science and society. One of the oldest scientific organizations in the United States, the Academy has become not only a prominent, but also one of the most significant organizations in the international scientific community. The Academy has a threefold mission to advance scientific research and knowledge, to support scientific literacy, to contribute to the solution of society's global problems through science-based solutions. And for right now, I'm gonna end this video here. I'm gonna provide with all the links that I have here uh, for you to check um, all the facts that I'm stating here. I wish you a wonderful weekend and uh, eternal life. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.